Hello once again everybody, it's General Geek 314 here and um, today I'm going to show you my Spurt Bot. Now this is a design originally by the University of Rostock I believe uh, in Germany and so uh, another user on let'smakerobots.com, Ignoble Gnome, made his own design to sell cheaply at as a kit at the um, Maker Fair NYC. So I got one of those. So I was back in September, and I never actually built it until now. So, bit of procrastination there, but I finished it today, uh, yesterday, and I like it a lot. So it's a simple beam lion follower here, and uh, I'll turn it on. It's hard to do holding the camera. There. As you can see, it's following the line pretty well. Pretty well for an eight dollar uh, beam robot. The circuit is really simple. Uh, it only requires one transistor, uh, a resistor, and an infrared reflective sensor. And I'll flip it around for you. So it can follow outside in one direction or inside in the other. Um, it's got skate bearings for wheels. Jet, uh, the um, bands for tires are cut from balloons. Alright, let me show you close up. So, the way this is wired, this wheel is constantly moving, as you can see, so it's wired directly to the battery. And this uh, wheel is connected to the um, transistor up here, and this tire is connected to the transistor up here. So, I, uh, I think I accidentally turned it off. But, um, when this sees white, this wheel will turn on right here. Well, the, the signal from the reflective sensor will go to the transistor, which will turn on this wheel, this motor. And um, the shaft is thickened by so a couple layers of heat drink tubing, as you can see. And so uh, that changes the gear ratio to make this spin faster. Um, and so it will turn in that direction. So it has this back and forth motion, because where it's on black, this wheel will be moving, on, only that wheel will be moving, so it will go on to white. And this one will move faster than the other. It'll turn it on to black, and then it'll just go back and forth, back and forth, like that. Um, so we tried to keep the cost down, as you can see. It didn't even include a power switch. And it's just a couple wires hooked together. And then it goes. Oops. There we go. My line following mats on this very flexible roll of poster board, as you can see, so... It was rolled up when I stored it, and so there's a bunch of bumps that kind of catch him, so I have to hold it down to my hand. But he works pretty well. Let me see if I can show you how the sensor turns on. So, put it over white, that wheel spins. Put it over black, that wheel doesn't spin. And that's all. Thanks for watching.